What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to look at how to use mental methods to solve addition and subtraction questions. Let's go! Okay, so one thing to remember, when we are using mental methods, we want to partition the number in our head. So what does that mean? Well, it means breaking our numbers down into their ones, tens, hundreds, and whatever else they might have. So looking at this first example, the addition, we have the number 234, which is made up of four ones, three tens, and two hundreds. And we have 151, which is one one, five tens, and one hundred. So what I'm gonna do in my head, I'm gonna do exactly what I would do with column method, but I'm going to do it in my head. And that is, start at my smallest value. So I'm gonna look at my ones first of all, and in my head, I would remember that 234 had four ones and 151 had one one. So therefore four add one equals five. So I would remember that my answer had five ones. Then I'd look at my tens and I would remember that 234 had three tens and 151 had five. And therefore three add five equals eight tens. And lastly, I would look at my hundreds, and I would remember that 234 obviously has 200, and 151 has 100, giving me a total of 300. Therefore, when I put this back together in my head, I would have 385. And all I did was just partition that number in my mind, adding first the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. Let's look at the second one, the subtraction question of 452, subtract 332. And let's do this all in my mind without writing anything down. So 452, subtract 332. Well, I can hear that my ones is gonna be two, subtract two, which obviously equals zero. My tens in 452, subtract 332. I have five tens, subtract three tens and that's gonna equal two tens. And lastly, my hundreds, 400, subtract 300 is gonna leave me with 100. So my answer is 120. So the simple method is just to break the number down in your mind, but remembering to start from the units. But why must we start from the units? Let's look at a mega challenge. Let's have a look at 256 add 125. Now this time in my head when I add my 6 and my 5 for the 1s, I come back with 11. Well 11 ones isn't very helpful because I can't keep 11 ones in my ones column. So now I have to do an extra process of remembering I have 1 1 and a 10 and the 10 I'm going to add to my 10s column. So the answer to my 1s column is going to be a 1 and I'm gonna keep this little one in my mind in the tens column. Now I can have my tens of a five and a two equals seven, but remember I have this new one here as well, so I equal eight. And then 200 plus 100 equals three. So my answer is 381. So it's super important to always remember to go from the smallest value because if you have more than 10, you're going to need to regroup it into the next column. Okay, here are some questions for you to have a little look at in your head. Don't write anything down. Just see if you can calculate these two questions in your head using the method of partitioning. Good luck. Put your answers in the comments section. Press pause now. And there you have it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.